the first English edition of The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot. I'm Adam Douglas, Senior Specialist in Literature at Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this remarkable copy. This is the first English edition uh, of the poem. It had previously been published in America um, as the prize for winning a poetry competition, but this uh, English edition was published a year later in 1923 by uh, Eliot's friends, Leonard and Virginia Woolf, at the Hogarth Press. So it's a quintessential Bloom's reproduction, and it's typical looking book of the press with this uh, rather sort of handmade looking um, wrappers or boards. They are covered in uh, mottled paper. Um, but this is a rem remarkable copy. The reason for that is the presentation inscription, and it's inscribed by T.S. Eliot inside here on the first blank to Dr. Roger Vitoz with the enduring gratitude of the author T.S. Eliot. That's Christmas 1923. Now Dr. Roger Vitoz was uh, a man who ran a clinic in Lausanne and T.S. Eliot uh, wrote this poem, The Wasteland, uh, at a time when he'd uh, taken leave from the bank uh, having had a nervous breakdown. At first he went to Margate to try and recuperate there um, and the line in the famous line in the poem on Margate Sands, I can connect nothing to nothing, which suggests that that wasn't sufficient cure. So after that, he went on to Lausanne to a sanatorium run by Dr. Roger Vitoz. He was uh, recommended the sanatorium by um, Ottiline Morel, who was another member of the Bloomsbury Group. And um, this is a really sort of hidden side of uh, the genesis of the poem. People know, of course, that uh, The Wasteland was first written in long form, and it was then strongly edited by uh, Ezra Pound, and the poem is dedicated to Ezra Pound. So this kind of fragmentary form that Eliot found for the poem with the various... Uh, here we see that Eliot's marked this copy with corrections. should be over crowd flowed over London Bridge instead of under, so Eliot's marked that by hand. And the poem is broken into sections, which was a form that Eliot, again there's another correction by Eliot, so Eliot used this form, this fragmented form, which has been held to be very characteristic of the poem and of the modernist um, sensibility. Um, while he was in Lausanne getting his treatment for his nervous breakdown, uh, Vitoz is um, therapeutic cure involved holding on to the patient's forehead while he thought, soothing thoughts. Vitoz was very strong on soothing thoughts. And one of, one of his great ideas was that uh, a patient should find something that was soothing to them and um, that they would repeat it three times. And that sheds a very interesting light on the last section of the poem and the last words of the poem where T.S. Eliot ends the poem with the repeated shanti, 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 which is Sanskrit for peace, peace, peace. So the therapy that he underwent at Dr. Vitoz's hands has found its way into the poem. Um, I think it's a remarkable association. Um, obviously, the presentation copy to Ezra Pound is perhaps the more significant one of copies of this, of this poem, but the presentation to Ro Ro Dr. Roger Vitoz uh, has to count, I think, as the second most important one. For full details of this and uh, other works by T.S. Eliot and other works published by the Hogarth Press, please see our website.